everything they witnessed into consideration. The selection committee, along with the members of the Miss Universe organization, chose 15 semifinalists. And a fan vote on the Miss USA app, powered by Choicely, added a 16th to the mix. Akbar, let you take it from here. All right. Well, thanks, Chesley. Tonight, our 16 semifinalists will compete on stage in the swimsuit round. Then, after another elimination, 10 will move on to the evening ground, gown competition where the field will be cut in half. Those five women, five women will face off in the question round before taking part in a final statement and also a final look. At the end of the night, our new Miss USA will have the Mawad crown placed on her head. But the first step towards meeting our new Miss USA is revealing the top 16. So let's get to it right now. The first contestant moving into the semifinals is New Jersey. Hi, I'm Gina Mellish, Miss New Jersey USA 2020. When I was 16 years old, I found myself in an abusive relationship. I didn't really know what I was experiencing was abuse until it escalated and I needed to reach out for help. So I found the One Love Foundation really organically. I now teach a workshop with the One Love Foundation where I educate young men and women on the signs of unhealthy and healthy relationships to help reduce the statistics of relationship abuse and learn how to love better. New Jersey. Also earning a spot in the top 16 is Idaho. USA 2020. I'm at Washington State University studying to become a veterinarian. And on top of that, I'm also pursuing my Master of Public Health degree through the University of Minnesota. My hope is to... Growing up in Idaho, I had a very unique upbringing. My dad is Irish American and my mom immigrated here from the Philippines. Magandang umaga, all my friends in the Philippines. Going to try and make you guys proud. Idaho. Still in the running is... Alabama. Hi, I'm Kelly Hutchinson, Miss Alabama USA. As soon as I could start walking, my mom put me in dance. I did lyrical, jazz, hip hop, tap, ballet, you name it. I probably took a class in it. Dance really gave me a confidence in being able to perform on stage, but it wasn't until I got involved in pageantry that I really was able to find my voice and my confidence. I I've always been a very ambitious person. I set goals and I won't stop until I achieve them. Alabama. The next top 16 spot belongs to Louisiana. I'm Mariah Clayton, Miss Louisiana USA 2020. Basically, with my degree in school counseling, the plan is to help young kids figure out their dreams and their goals in life. And so for me to be able to sit kids down and help them figure out a goal and a pathway to reach that, I think is so important. I am super passionate about adoption and foster care, mainly because I have two adopted brothers in my family. And I have seen the impact of having a positive, loving, supportive environment. And I'm so grateful that we've been able to give them a loving and caring home that they deserve. Louisiana. Our fifth contestant to make it to the next round is Mississippi. Hi, I'm Asia Branch, Miss Mississippi USA 2020. Growing up, I thought I had everything I could have ever dreamt of, and suddenly one day that was all instantly taken away. My father was arrested, and losing him made me lose myself. I had to watch my mom struggle, raising four children still left at home. This changed my perspective on life completely. I was able to participate in a roundtable discussion with the President of the United States on how to reintegrate inmates back into society. This led to the passing of the First Step Act, which helps to better reintegrate job opportunities. But even the smallest steps make the biggest difference. 
Mississippi. Next up, please welcome Missouri. Hi, my name is Megan Renee Kelly, Miss Missouri USA 2020. I plan on attending law school, emphasizing in international human rights law. I want to give men and women around the world the voice to be as ambitious as they choose. I know that this is going to fulfill my life's purpose. I am able to continue my work with women's health reform on a global scale and do my absolute best to help those in need. Missouri. Also on her way to the top 16 is Ohio. My name is Stephanie Marie Moranza, Miss Ohio USA 2020. So I was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and what I remember the most is being part of my big family group. So the biggest role model I've ever had in my life has to be my grandmother. My grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's when I was around 14 years old. I thought it was not fair, but I am so blessed to have those memories with me. Dealing with it as a family made me respect my parents so much more and just made me understand the value of life and family. Ohio. Moving on, it's District of Columbia. I'm Sierra Jackson, Miss DC USA 2020. I graduated from Spelman College. And I studied political science and at Yale, I also was able to study campaign studies specifically for women and encouraging women. So some of my hardest working days, it changed my political trajectory and my career. People don't always get the chance to live or to work in the White House, but when you have that opportunity, it just changes your perspective on what we can do as people to change our country for the good. District of Columbia. Wow, Akbar, there are so many deserving contestants waiting for their names to be called. Yeah, and unfortunately, they're going to have to keep waiting until after the break. This is Miss USA live on FYI. Okay, so before the break, we revealed our first eight semifinalists. Eight more women will join them, earning a chance to become Miss USA 2020. Let's reveal them now. The next woman in the top 16 is Oklahoma. My name is Mariah Jane Davis, Miss Oklahoma USA 2020. I am extremely proud to be a member of the Choctaw Nation and a Native American woman. My heritage and background is a huge part of who I am today. Chata Hapia Hoki. We are Choctaw. Being a first-generation college graduate makes my family and I immensely proud. My mother made countless sacrifices to ensure that my sister and I had a great education and that we had every opportunity to pursue our dreams and our goals. It would be a huge honor to become the first member of the Choctaw Nation and Native American woman to hold the Miss USA title in the 68-year history of the pageant. Oklahoma. The 10th spot belongs to Indiana. Hi, I'm Alexis Letty, Miss Indiana USA 2020. After graduating high school, I went on to get my education at the George Washington University, and I was super blessed. I was able to get a full ride volleyball scholarship, and I had an amazing experience in DC. Growing up, I was always told I couldn't be a model, I couldn't be in entertainment, I couldn't do everything that I'm pretty much doing now. So I just want to be the voice for young kids that feel like they're not going to be able to do what they want to do and let them know that they can. Indiana. Still in the competition is... New York! My name is Andrea Jabal, and I'm Miss New York USA 2020. I was born in Praia Cape Verde, a country off the west coast of Africa. There wasn't really a lot of opportunities or the environment to really dream big. 
And so because I was born into poverty, I've been able to really value the opportunity to give back and be able to change the course of someone's life because I know what it means to have nothing. I decided to get into public speaking after years of being silent and being ashamed of speaking out. And now that I have found my voice, it's been really hard to keep me quiet. New York. Moving one step closer to the ground, it's Georgia. My name is Alyssa Beasley. I'm Miss Georgia USA 2020. I grew up a dancer. I was also a gymnast for a really long time. I started my first pageant in a pageant system, and with that system, I was able to bring to light hashtag Rise Up Impact Through the Arts, and that is the initiative I created to provide arts opportunities to children of all types, but in particular, those with disabilities and kids who are considered at risk. And since then, I have been able to choreograph for children across the country. I hope to be an example for the next shy girl who doesn't feel she has the ability to accomplish greatness. Georgia. Also advancing is California. Hey everyone, my name is Alicia Gupta and I miss California USA 2020. Despite my blonde hair and blue eyes, I'm half Indian. My dad is from Africa and my mom is from London. Even though I don't show it on the outside, it's something that I'm very, very proud of and very close to. The value of becoming a US citizen for me was legally being something that I'd felt for such a long time. It's the responsibility of helping contribute to this country, helping make it a better place. That I am able to take part in the democracy that makes our country so great. California. Only three spots left. The next semifinalist is Illinois. Hi, I'm Olivia Pira, and I'm Miss Illinois USA 2020. This past June, I graduated magna cum laude from Northwestern University with a degree in biochemistry and Slavic languages. It's so important that women keep entering these fields and keep breaking those ceilings and pushing the boundaries because we are just as qualified and have so many incredible ideas. But if we're not entering those fields, those ideas stay locked down and we don't have access to them. If I am proud Miss USA, I will make it my absolute mission to continue advocating for legislation that promotes equality and education about the amazing contributions that women have had to the science and math fields. Illinois. Also with the chance to become Miss USA is Nevada. I'm Victoria Alona, Miss Nevada USA 2020. I consider myself to be an adrenaline enthusiast. I have personally ice climbed in the world's largest ice park in Ray, Colorado. I've ran with the bulls. I've heli skied in the Swiss Alps, and I've rock climbed all over the world. For me, adventure sports really have brought me out of my shell and shown me how capable I am. So I think it's important to always try new things and push our potential because you never know where it can lead you and what you can discover about yourself. Nevada! Of our 36 women are anxiously waiting, but only one spot remains. Ooh. And the final contestant to make the top 16 is... Samantha Nealon, Miss Hawaii USA 2020. Being part of a military family, it really gives you a sense of duty and honor. When I was eight years old, we moved overseas. And from that moment on, I was a representative of the USA. But I remember somebody telling me that Hawaii would never crown a black title holder. And this year, I became the first black woman to ever win the Miss Hawaii USA title. I've taken it upon myself to try to be part of the group that helps educate and empower people to speak up. I think the majority of people don't understand how bad systemic racism is in this country, what it even looks like, and what it means to change it. Hawaii! Congratulations to those 16 deserving women. They've worked so hard for the opportunity to compete here at Graceland, and now they're one step closer to their dream. 
Let us know which semifinalists you think will take home the crown tonight by using hashtag MissUSA. As we mentioned earlier, tonight's semifinalists were chosen by our selection committee. It's a panel.